Okay, so what's next? Well, in the short term, we have announced open beta, which is a huge milestone for us. Again, by no means is this the finish line. We don't look at this as we're done. This is still a very early stage of the game, but we're ready to actually expand beta to get more feedback, to have a broader range of players, and also to scale up our, our server load. We want to make sure that the servers scale up, that performance feels fine, that players can jump in and experience all that there is for Firefall. We're all racing full steam ahead to deliver the best possible experience we can. And that includes a lot of behind the scenes tools, it includes additional payment instruments, uh, in particular for our friends in Europe, uh, introducing additional payment options for monetization, additional support tools, um, uh, expanding the game. And so to give you a little glimpse of what we're doing, we will be introducing player trading. Oh yeah! Something people have asked for since the early days of closed beta. And something internally that we've wanted since 2006. It just hasn't been the right time. And now is the time we'll be introducing a player market where players can trade uh, resources and equipment and items. Uh, server scalability, stability, where we'll, we'll be uh, improving the new player experience, going back through the battle lab, going back through some of the new missions that you get as a player in Copacabana to make sure that you understand the core mechanics of our game. We're making a big push on our competitive PvP, which I would, I would think that you guys would be pretty excited about. We're introducing a brand new competitive game type. We're introducing a new, uh, a new map that is in progress. It's not complete, but we want to give everyone a glimpse at a map in development. Here's a little sneak peek. We'll see more of it tomorrow. We're introducing competitive teams with ladders, so you guys will be able to formally create your team and compete against each other on a ladder in this competitive map type. And we're introducing a lot of other functionality there. We're continuing to improve progression. We've made some major changes the last two patches. We're continuing to improve on this. Last patch, we gave players the ability to actually allocate the power to overcharge certain abilities or weapons. We're going to continue to plus that experience. We're going to continue to dial in some of our constraints, constraint values for the open world experience, and some other areas of progression for your battle frame, including visual upgrades, something we've always wanted. We're now actually getting to the point where we can implement it and get it into the game. We may not have 100% of uh, what we want done by open beta, but we will start to give you uh, an idea of, to, of what's coming down the pipe. And so you can see here we have a Tiger Claw on the left, level 1. Once you've unlocked all of your constraints, a Tiger Claw at level 10. You see this guy? Looks pretty badass in my humble opinion. And we'll have visual upgrades at intermediate levels between there. <laughs> yeah. So we're introducing uh, Accord Missions. You know, one of the pieces of feedback we've gotten from some gamers who are new to Firefall, they're, they're not sure what to do. They're not, they need a little bit more player direction. They're asking for a little bit more guidance. You know, we're really trying to build a dynamic world that is in many ways a sandbox, where it's up to you, the player, to decide what you want to go. You, do you want to go thump and collect resources, go participate in different areas missions, go fight the Chosen, go push back the melding. The world is your, your, your sandbox. But we're actually introducing a little, some new mechanics to help guide players. So when you log in, Arrow will greet you, say hello, how's it going, what's up, uh, present you with a few missions, and help guide you. And you'll see this on the right, our objective tracker, which we took a first step with this last sprint. But we'll be introducing some new functionality there. We also want to celebrate the rewards that you earn as a player. Last sprint, we introduced resource rewards and some other uh, component drops for some of our Ares missions and more activities. So far, the feedback I've seen has been extremely positive. People love being able to do non-thumping to get resources. Well, that's just the beginning. We scratched the surface. This next milestone, players will expect to see more equipment drops, weapon drops, more items, more components, things uh, rewarding you for your activities and your actions. And we're going to present it to you in a, in a much more exciting user interface. Speaking of new things, we felt like it was about time that we get off the beautiful, sunny, tropical beach of Coral Forest. And so for the first time, you will be able to help advance your way through the world to gain access to helping the Accord actually discover new pockets inside the melding. It will be a first foothold. The Accord has just discovered this melding pocket, and you as a player will be able to jump into this melding pocket and explore new lands, collect better resources, fight new creatures. In the future, you'll be able to actually push back the melting, melting and expand those pockets into full-blown new zones. This is Sargasso Sea, a little sneak peek of what's to come in just a few weeks. Oh, Antarctica. I have wanted snow. I've wanted to see snow and firefall for so long. And now it's time.
And through your journeys in these melting pockets, you will gain access to special items that will lead ultimately to a super secret, super special PVE instance that looks a little bit like this. Our super secret PVE instance. So for the first time, players will be able to experience a five person instance and it's very exciting. We've been having a lot of fun internally play testing it. I can't show it today. We have a special exclusive interview with Polygon. And I think they'll be announcing a little bit more details about this instance sometime in the next couple weeks. But uh, we're really excited about having this experience come together. So in the world, you'll be able to kind of progress through some of the different POIs, gain access to new zones, the melting pockets, which will help you gain access to this beautiful, cool black screen instance. That's this next milestone. Not bad, huh?